Greetings from Planet Raisin. <laughs> well, I didn't know how to start the video, so we'll just stick with that. So, I actually just deleted my previous voice recording for this because I was doing this the entire time because I wanted to fidget with something. So, the original intent for this picture was to have just a person that was made out of blues because as I said in my last video, I really enjoyed coloring the blue sleeve that I made and I just wanted to work with more rich blues because I like blending them out and I think they're really pretty. So what better way to color blue than with water, even though yes, technically water is clear and not blue. The main thought that I have when I think of blue is water and especially the ocean. And so when I thought about what character I can do that was kind of made out of water or the ocean, I thought of the perfect thing when I was watching Moana, the Moana trailers, and specifically the one about the ocean playing with baby Moana. And I just thought there's a personality behind the ocean and... I was thinking that the personality, it was just a personality of a child who was looking for a friend and just found that friend in Moana and the ocean, this girl or boy, well, I think it looks more like a girl, so I'll stick with that. This girl just, just wanted to be friends with Moana and that's the cheerful personality that the ocean, ocean turned to be. So for this part, I know I, I don't have the footage. I thought I recorded it, but apparently it got cut off. So I just wanted to show you some of the details. I slowed it down so you could see some of the details. On the left, I have um, the red or octopi. And I, when I show it up close, you'll see the details about it. I, I As I said in, in my first video, you use the lightest Copic to push the darker Copics out, for, out of the way. So for the suckers... Is that what it's called? Suckers? <laughs> on the suckers, on the, for the suckers on the tentacles, I used a lighter color. And, and then to the right of that are turtles, which you can't see very well. And I just use a darker color to show their shells, which you'll hopefully see later. Oh, and also just pause if you want to see the markers, just because I did it by sections this time. And then here I'm doing the some seahorses, and to the left of it, which is very pale, are jellyfish. And I used photo reference of most of these, except for the octopi, because I have a fear of the ocean, which is a horrible match for looking up photo reference, because whenever I look up ocean creatures, this a big piranha sharky fish pops up and I don't like how it looks. So it was a little bit hard to find the balance. So every time I had to type in cute, pretty, gorgeous, calming ocean creatures so that I didn't find a really creepy one. So I think just a lot of the fear, I don't like have a specific reason for why I have the fear. It's just so broad and the creatures all are much faster than you. So anyway, here I just wanted to slow, slow it down to show you that I'm trying to make the sides look like waves. And so as it reaches the top, it just gets toward, more towards the sunlight and it gets lighter. And then I used my Sakura Jelly Roll to, and I smeared it with my finger and tapped on it to make it duller to kind of make the froth. And I didn't know when I was doing it, like I didn't plan it, but I think it really, really helps the composition of the picture. Um, I lose track. Yes, you will You will find in almost all my videos that at one point I lose track of what I'm talking about. So anyway, the waves on the side help direct the eye 
your eye, the viewer's eye, to her eyes when you, because when you look into her eyes, which I meant for them to be like the beach, when you look into her eyes, you see the waves in your peripheral vision and it, it creates a nice border. Speaking of borders, I used the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. I used the blue one, which is the thing that I was snapping before. Um, I used the blue one because I didn't want it to be really harsh lines because if she's going to be made out of the ocean, she can't have a random black line in the middle of her face. So I used it, but I didn't realize that when I colored it... Oh wow, that's gorgeous. My hair is just, just gorgeous. So I didn't realize that when I used it, it with dark blue Copic markers, the Copic markers would just completely make it disappear. So I had to figure out how to color the hair in a way that the back looked different from the front so that it didn't just blend into each other. I think the word is value. I'm not sure. I didn't learn any technical terms for art. Um, I lose track. Yes, you will, you will find in almost all my videos that at one point I lose track of what I'm talking about. So anyway, the waves on the side help direct the eye, your eye, the viewer's eye, to her eyes when you, because when you look into her eyes, which I meant for them to be like the beach, when you look into her eyes, you see the waves in your peripheral vision and it, it creates a nice border. Speaking of borders, I used the Stedler Tri Plus Fine Liner. I used the blue one, which is the thing that I was snapping before. Um, I used the blue one because I didn't want it to be really harsh lines because if she's going to be made out of the ocean, she can't have a random black line in the middle of her face. So I used it, but I didn't realize that when I colored it, it with dark blue Copic markers, the Copic markers would just completely make it disappear. So I had to figure out how to color the hair in a way that the back looked different from the front so that it didn't just blend into each other. So for the face here, I originally planned for it to be like how you see like so layers of of it's like how you look at a pool in the sunlight like there's layers of darkness and then it's lighter but i've had trouble with face shading in the past and i wanted to make it simple like my first copic illustration which i didn't finish because it just didn't i couldn't shade so i just wanted it to be simple i i made the freckles fish because if she's the ocean she's gonna have random fish swimming across her face right right <laughs> So I made them into fish, and then here I'm just doing the details on the jellyfish. It's really pretty, by the way. If you look up, like, jellyfish in the sea, they're really pretty because they it looks like they're glowing. So I just added the details there, and I, I'll also add the details on the shells of the turtle and on the suckers of the octopi. And when I was doing the eyes especially, I learned, well... I always like finding things that I learn from my pictures. So one thing that I learned from this picture was that the sakura jelly roll can be used in a lot of ways. Like the highlights on the eyes are so different from the smudged froth in the eyes that I separated the sea and the sand with. And I also learned that there's, there's definitely value, if that's what it's called, and you have to be able to shade differently. So, okay, so here's the close up. So, anyway, I think that's it. So, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!